Our goal for the Stanford Global Energy Heroes competition was to really create a, a global community uh, of young entrepreneurs and recognize and empower these change makers who are implementing sustainable and also actionable energy solutions. And we were just amazed by the responses that poured in from around the world. And now it's our pleasure to announce the three winning teams of this year's Global Energy Heroes contest. Taka Taka Plastics, Solar Freeze, and Mi Panya. Here's Taka Taka Plastics, and they are transforming um, low value plastic waste to construction materials. And now recently they switched to actually making protective gear for healthcare workers in Uganda. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Well, well, <laughs> uh, we're really thankful and excited to be winners of the Global Energy Heroes and the prize money is going to help us a lot. It um, will allow us to be able to build more machines for producing our plastic wall tiles. So we'll be able to scale up production to reach our goal of recycling nine tons of plastic a month. And uh, the recognition is already doing wonders. It's exactly what we had anticipated with just a post on uh, the page. Uh, we're already getting contacts from individuals asking us about what we're doing. This is Mipan Yar and they are building solar microgrids in Myanmar to replace diesel generators. We're actually in construction at the moment um, with the community in the south of Myanmar um, called Kambin. We're kind of rehabilitating a um, kind of small diesel kind of mini grid system that they've had running for kind of more than a decade and we're bringing in uh, much more kind of solar generation and, and also battery storage. The basic of having energy access is important and is critical and enables so much more livelihood development beyond just, you know, lighting and communications. Um, but beyond that, there, when you can support communities to be able to realize their own potential and really take this into their own hands, I think that that's where you see the most creative solutions. We love being on site and in the field because people are so warm and so welcoming and it's uh, every time you just get you get fed with all this delicious food <laughs> because they're so happy and then it's to have you there. And this is Solar Freeze and they build affordable um, solar powered refrigeration units for small scale farmers uh, in Kenya. So the Global Energy Heroes uh, Award from Stanford is really huge, uh, especially in terms of recognition for solar freeze, uh, because it provides a chance for, for us and for our work to be seen not only uh, in Kenya, but also across the world. And I hope through our work, we'll uh, be able to scale our impact. We hope to scale uh, towards other countries, especially in East Africa. So with the prize money from Stanford, we'll use the 20,000 uh, to train young people, especially we are looking at between 18 to 29 year old women. If we start the actions in our communities, especially in the rural areas where there's, there's most need. And I know uh, through their initiative, the world will become a better place. And by the help of Solar Freeze and what Stanford has done, I hope it will be an inspiration to other many young people across the world. Thank you. For me personally, I was really truly inspired how um, these young people across the globe uh, were using their um, the resources that they had and also the technology that they had available to really create solutions that were helping their communities, but also developing solutions that could be potentially uh, um, yeah, applied on a larger scale, even, even globally. Global Energy Heroes underscores the profound impact that sustainable energy will have on our future. And this year's winners highlight the power that we have to tackle this immense challenge by going out and making a direct, meaningful impact, starting with our own communities.